Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Um, or, or just wait, we should, we should do this. Alhamdulillah, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah, wa ismillah, wa la hamdu allillah. Allahumma 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 sallim wa sallim ala ashabina azha. You know, I should, I should borrow those. Uh, no Muslim, he can start without speaking five minutes praising Muhammad, and then he go to the topic which is two seconds. Anyway, hypocrite liars. Uh, those who repeat themselves, they are the liars. This is what the Bible says. Uh, and here we, re you know, we, uh, I'm showing, I'm going to show you today a story uh, mentioned by Muhammad. <clears throat> now you know there is always ways to expose the liar, the liar and the fool. The much he speak, the much he expose himself. You see, people will not notice how liar you are, and how stupid you are, as long you keep your mouth shut. But Muhammad, he have a problem. He claimed to be a prophet. He cannot keep his mouth shut. He have to tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, let me tell you something. So the prophet decided to tell us, and this is a story in here, that the angel of Allah, Jibreel, and by the way, this is, cannot be the angel, and I will show you later, later why. But anyway, Muhammad saying, this is the angel Jibreel. Uh, he came to Muhammad, and this angel Jibreel, this is in his real look, he have 600 wings. You see it? I think it's very clear. Now, I'm not going to ask Muhammad how he count the angels. Uh, maybe uh, the angel Jibreel, he told him. Maybe. Or oh, maybe they have numbers. Maybe. But the issue in here, that there is a verse in the Quran saying the following. And this verse does not fit with this story, exposing Muhammad lies. This is chapter 35, verse number 1, huh? the chapter of Fatir. It says the following All praise due is due to Allah. And by the, the funny, by the way, you know, Allah is always saying all praise to Allah, and it's He. Always Allah speak about Himself as a third party. But anyway, originator of the heaven and the earth, the maker of the angels. Oh, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, messengers are flying on wings. Ah, those messengers, they fly with wings. Ah. You know, I always. Uh, uh, took the, the the angels and wings etc uh, is about uh, metaphorical of their ability to move through space uh, but I don't really consider angels have wings real wings uh, for a very simple reason you know like uh, in the space your wings would do nothing to you you know if those wings are real uh, well you know what like how the how the angel will speak will, will, uh, will fly with the wings you know wings is made uh, simply uh, you hit down with you, and up and down with the wings and that will push you up because there is air but when you are in the empty space wings will not do any benefit there's you know so either they are metaphorical and they are not real or or they are real if they are real it's, uh, it's going to be bad uh, but anyway in here this is not our topic uh, what we see in here that the verse saying that Allah he created angels to move by wings two and the three and four so what is the numbers of wings two by the way I want to know how the angel in the middle he have a three wings like where is the other one is installed in his head I understand two I can take four but a three? Anyway, in Yusuf A translation, the liar, he added the word bear, you know, like in, 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 like in the, let us say, two wings, which, which mean uh, uh, four wings, three wings, three, uh, three bears, which mean there are six wings. But this is not the, what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying two and a three and four. That's it. So he's lying. Anyway, uh, even if, he, if we go with the translation, that will make, you know, ma maximum. Uh, 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 the angel, you know, uh, the, the the wings four by two is going to be, you know, eight angels, eight, eight wings. But the hadith we just saw it says that Jibreel have six hundred. Now either Muhammad is lying, or the Quran is lying. It cannot be both true. There's a huge difference between 
the maximum of four angels, four four wings. I don't know. I keep saying angels, and the uh, the 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 number of six hundred wings. You know. Uh, and as I said, if those were symbolic, I would say it is symbolic. Uh, but the explanation of the Quran, the interpretation of the Quran, the scholars of the Quran agree and admit that yes, it is physical wings, and this is how the angels of God they move. And actually, the verse in the front of you saying that clearly, you know, they are maker of the angels flying on wings. Flying in wings. Flying is about movement, you know, physical movement. And, uh, you know, this is how the angels move. So now, how a Muslim, he will accept Muhammad saying that there is 600 wings. In the same time, uh, the Quran says 2 and the 3 and 4. Now, I will go back to that hadith as long as we, we spoke about it. Muslims uh, and Muhammad, supposedly, he claimed that this is uh, the angel Jibreel. Now, I will show you a disaster in here. Actually, if you read my book, you will notice what I'm talking about. Uh, if you go and buy my book, The Description of Allah, uh, there's a lot of secrets as reveals in there, and you, you will never find it anywhere. Uh, because many people they read but they do not really go sharp you know I, I remember when I was uh, uh, studying the Islamic law uh, I asked the, 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 this, this question uh, to the doctor who was teaching us uh, and you know he did answer me in, in, a, in a very angry way he said uh, there is things in the Quran will cause fitna okay so if you ask them, you will, you will leave Islam. So he shut me up. He did not answer me. He said, those questions will make you leave Islam. So we don't allow them. Huh. Ah. Those questions, if we ask them, they are going to show us how stupid Islam is. So the only way to fight those questions is not to allow them. Very smart idea. Genius. Genius. I like the Islamic schools. It's a wonderful school. It's a school where they teach you only how to wash your private part, but they don't want you to know what the religion is about. You ask a serious question about the religion, they kick you out. Anyway, as long as here, as you see, that the angel get so close to him, huh, in a distance of two bows length, or even nearer. This is what's quoted from the Quran, as you see in here, even them, they are mentioning to you which verse in the Quran. So nobody can say is, this is not about this verse in the Quran. You see it? Chapter 53, verse number 9 to 10. Now, if we go to the Quran, we will see a surprise. A big surprise, which is going to expose Muhammad again. This is the verse in the Quran, you know. Uh, and, you know, we saw in the hadith, it says from verse number 9 to 10, right? Here we go. Exactly, they are right. Uh, if you read from verse number, uh, you can read from the beginning, you know, uh, how it is supposedly that that mighty, which one of the mighty powers has taught him, who taught him the mighty power. On a, uh, uh, so he, you know, he he uh, 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 he come to him, and he was uppermost the horizon. This is how big this uh, this uh, creature is. We don't know yet what it is. According to the hadith, as we showed you, it is an angel, right? But now we will find out if he is an angel or not. Then he drew nigh and came down. Till he was distance of two bows, length or even nearer. And this is what we, we showed you in the hadith, if you remember. Let me show you the hadith, put them together. Okay, here we go, we had them together close. So as you see, verse number 15, uh, uh, this is the verse, 53, 9, 10. And supposedly this is about Jibreel, as the Muslim trying to convince you. And by the way, this is why it says in here Jibreel, you know, in, in, in two, between two brackets. And you will you will notice even in the Hadith exactly what the Quran is saying. Maybe you did not notice. Read with me. This creature, who supposedly the angel Jibreel, as we showed you, uh, or the, as the Hadith claimed that this is Jibreel. Uh, he was so close to Muhammad, <coughs> and even uh, two bows, or even uh, near, nearer. And he revealed into his slave that which he revealed. Uh oh. Uh, this is a disaster. 
Look how the Muslim they try to 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 fix this problem in the in the translation in the hadith. So it says in the translation, so did Allah convey the inspiration? Where it says Allah in the Quran, where it says Allah in the hadith, it doesn't say that. Because supposedly in here they are quoting the Quran, by the way. If you if you read with me in here, this is a quotation for the Quran. In the Quran, it does not say, so Allah convey his inspiration to his slave. In the Quran it says, so did he convey the inspiration to his slave. And as long the one is it is speaking about the one who came down is the angel Jibreel, then the problem in here is big because how you say that this is which means Muhammad is the slave of Jibreel. So the Muslim to fix this problem in the translation they add the word Allah, which is not exist totally in the Quran in that verse. And the proof, I'm not making things up. Read with me. This is the Muslim translation. This is Muhammad Biktar translation. Do you see the word Allah there? Do you see it? It does not exist. Do you think uh, Biktar is lying? He took it off? No, he's not. You know, the word does not exist. <clears throat> and you will see from all in here, all the way down, there is no Allah. It's speaking about the one uh, who came down, who filled, uh, who covered all the horizon, who became so close, <coughs> close to Muhammad. Sorry, <coughs> till he was in a distance of two bows, length or even nearer, and he revealed into his sleeve that which is he revealed. Now that is. A big and a huge problem in Islam because this is mean now Muhammad is the slave of Jibreel if the Muslims they wanna insist that this is Jibreel as we see in here if the Muslim they will say that this is Allah they have another problem guess what Muslims they say no one can see Allah until judgment day and that's what Muhammad told them many times in the judgment day Allah will do a strap tease he will show his leg and Allah they will knew him by his leg you know uh, you can go to Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number uh, I think 532 uh, uh, S 532S uh, I think yeah uh, and you will see how Allah is going to come to them in a shape and the shape they will knew him with it's his real shape which is the leg but in here this is not a leg this is different shape this is how Allah he is it must be Allah otherwise Muslims they have to believe that Muhammad he is the slave of Jibreel too and Jibreel is God because you know the the the, the term of slave in, in Islamic term mean you know you are a slave to God you are not a slave to the angel you are not a slave to uh, anyone you are a slave to God this is this is a, th a term of worship actually you know Allah he created mankind according to Muslims to worship him to become his slaves so you are a slave of Allah so in here when, when you say slave you are making Jibreel an angel but at the same time he's a God so <clears throat> if they if they make this one that this is the angel Jibreel it's mean Muhammad is a slave of Jibreel if they make it this is Allah it's mean Muhammad did lie again because this is uh, uh, Allah who he saw with the 600 wings he saw him he was close to him and Muhammad he said that Allah is the unseen and nobody can see him so either way Muhammad is being exposed and showed that he is really a big false potato and our duty to expose the false one follow with me with more videos Christ is Lord and Islam is false made by a dummy for the dummy see you soon